So gapping your clubs is so important. Most amateurs, nearly all players, don't really know how far their clubs go, and that'll change within one season of golf. When I start playing here, we're really close to playing in Minnesota. When I start playing golf in Minnesota, the temperature is 45 to 60 degrees. My clubs don't go anywhere near as far as they do in the midsummer when it's hot. In the 90s, uh, 95 degrees, the, the ball flies so much farther. You can get literally 10 to 15 yards of difference in your uh, club distances based off your, your elevation, your temperature. There's so many different variables that go to it, but it is important to know kind of what those stock numbers are. We're gonna show you how to do this for your player settings in GS Pro software. So let's go into my bag here. This is where you can go in and put your actual clubs in. I think I don't have to change much here. So I do actually have to change it. I don't have a three hybrid. I actually have a four hybrid in, in my bag. That was the club we had to go with to get the distances right. And then I go from four iron to pitching wedge. My uh, wedges go 50, 55, 60. That gives me better spacing. I used to go 52, 56, 60, but I would have too much space between my pitching wedge and my 52 degree, there was just too much guessing going on there. So down here in the corner, you can see that we can start bag mapping. So we're gonna do that. All right, so a couple tips here. One, you wanna make sure you have your elevation set to your home course elevation so that those numbers are accurate for that elevation. Two, you wanna make sure that you delete any shots that are not accurate. So if you hit it fat, you hit it thin, you hit it way offline, you wanna get those numbers out of there because that's bad data. You want five just solid shots. They don't have to be perfect, but you want them pretty solid uh, to get the appropriate distances for your mapping. So lob wedge, five good swings. All right, so we've got our five 60 degree shots. We're gonna go now to the 55 degree sand wedge. This is a very tiring activity. As you can see, I'm going pretty quick here. You're gonna, I'm almost out of breath. You're gonna wanna take breaks throughout this process because you don't want your fatigue to affect your numbers. You want, you know, when you're playing real golf, you got that distance between shots to recover and you're just not gonna be wearing yourself out as much as I just did on those five shots. I kind of did those quick. So here we go, we got 55 degree sand wedge. And so that one I felt pretty heavy, so I'm gonna delete that one from the data. Right, we're gonna move down to the gap wedge. So you've seen kind of how this works. I'm gonna keep rolling through my clubs 
and we'll get back to at the end to look at the data and kind of put it all together. Okay, so we got our averages, the five shots we took for each club here. And what we're gonna do is focus solely on the carry number here. We'll start at the top of the bag. Now, I just got fitted for the new TaylorMade QI-10 series of metals. Uh, so this four utility iron, I would carry 218. Well, the three hybrid that I had before, that would carry like 245, and I'd end up with almost a 30 yard gap between my utility four iron and my three hybrid. Then from my three hybrid that I had before to my last three wood, I would have another gap from 245 and this one would go like 260 and would roll out uh, around where my driver would carry. And I felt like these two numbers were too close to each other. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to bring my three wood back a little bit, bring my four hybrid back a little bit. I went with the four hybrid versus the three hybrid to do that. And the other thing to mention is on my three wood, we went with a one inch uh, shorter shaft. So it gives me a little bit more control and brings that distance back. So. 244 carry with the three wood, which I really like. I want this club to go to finish uh, 250 to 260, somewhere in there, and that's what we have. Driver's good out here, 279 carry to 304, somewhere in there. And you can see the, the gapping is a little bit better here at the top end of the bag. As we look at another gap we have here, eight and nine iron, there's about an 18 yard gap. One thing I did not include in this exercise is three quarter yardages. So typically I'll have two numbers for each club, a three quarter swing and a full swing. When I go to a three quarter swing, I'll choke down about an inch on the club and the length of my swing will be three quarters on the way back and three quarters on the way through. And what you'll find is that shaves off anywhere from four to eight yards on each club. So if we look at my gap wedge, it goes 130. Three quarter of that would be somewhere in the 120 to 123, uh, 124, somewhere in there. And that's gonna close up these yardages really well. I'm gonna do this exercise again, adding the three quarter numbers as I start to prepare for outdoor golf up here in Minnesota, where you actually just got some more snow this weekend. It is uh, Sunday, March 24th when I'm recording this and we had a really nice February and March started really nice and now it's getting a little colder and we got snow back, which of course we do. Well, there you have it. Those are my numbers for full swings. I hope this is helpful. Uh, use these launch monitors to help tighten up these yardages, know what you're hitting, make better decisions and play better golf. As always, I appreciate you watching and we'll catch you next time.